split by war or divided by diversity. Hundreds of students from around the globe are bringing their personal stories of triumph and perseverance to an international robotics competition that's now in full swing in Singapore. Clara Lee speaks to some of them. Even a hot war couldn't stop these five Ukrainian students from attending an international robotics competition in Singapore. Each team was supposed to build a bot out of a standard kit of parts, but the five youths hit a stumbling block when they were preparing for the competition. We couldn't work normally due to the air raid alerts uh, and also we hadn't received a kit because it's very hard to send something in Ukraine from other countries. So we had to build our robot from previous uh, year's kit without game objects of this year and uh, so on. But uh, it's still here, it is working and we hope to show a great result despite everything. Mr. Honcharenko adds that taking part in this event is part of a personal mission. The main goal for our team is to show that despite any odds, despite any challenges that we can meet, we can show a great result and be a very competitive team that can do literally everything. 191 countries have sent teams of students to this annual event. In the spirit of fostering global cooperation, each team will compete against and work together with others in randomly assigned alliances. Organizers say this will highlight the competition's core value of encouraging collaboration beyond borders. Team Bolivia, for instance, chose to promote inclusivity when putting their team together. All five students come from indigenous communities, which make up over 40% of the population in their home country. They're looking to prove that anyone can access technology and become good at it, regardless of age, gender or place of birth. I am very happy to be in this competition, seeing young people from all over the world makes me very proud to represent my community. Last year, their national team came in fourth place. Ms. Rodriguez is aiming to make the top three this year.